Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. KK007 has a very different kind of commentary to submit to the channel with a couple of, I think, 5-star Nexus and 6-star. It's sort of the best of the best of what he's been trying to save. And you can see that the uh, Collector's Daily card is being sent his way as a temptation to purchase. And so this is a man who does not spend any money on the game. He does not subscribe to the Black ISO store. He only spends units to get crystals and so he is somebody who at level uh, i think it's 53 really could use an account changing pool and so this is what these commentaries are really made for to have a chance to root on good pools particularly for nexus crystals and five star nexus crystals despite the fact that i know six stars seem to be all the rage for so many people but five stars can still be so game changing for accounts all right five star Nexus number one. Let's pause this after we see it and see what he thinks. Interesting. So he can awaken Cole or he can awaken Iceman. I got to go with Iceman. Cole does not need to be awakened. Iceman does. And I don't think Punisher 2099 adds anything to his roster, significantly speaking, if he was to, to choose him. I'm not talking about arena points when it comes to five stars, really. It's all about those six stars. So, um, yeah, let's go with awakening Iceman and be thankful. Move on. Come on, buddy. Awaken Iceman. No. Don't. No. 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 Don't. He did it to me. My judgment is coming through my computer. All right. Well, let's see if we're on the same page with the second one, huh? I would not have done that. That might be the title of this video. I would not have done that. But maybe you would have. Let me know in the comments. All right, there is the alcoholic who is now a reformed alcoholic because I love using him. He can stand up straight. And Ronan, the non-Hawkeye version. Now, a couple times a year, including last week's Summoner, uh, su summoner of Pain, Summer of Pain, he could have been a Summoner of Pain in the Summer of Pain. I'll try saying that 10 times fast. Uh, he becomes a Beyond God tier champ for certain matchups. But I think in general, he got to awaken Diablo. He doesn't really need a high sig, but awakening does help. Please let this actually be... No. I... 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 Oh, for 2. How do you know that I don't watch these beforehand? Because I make predictions like, oh, well, obviously he's going to do X, Y, and Z, and then he does the opposite. Twice. I don't know if that's ever happened. Where I, I've been wrong both times. Maybe you in the comments w agree with both his decisions. I don't mind that. Let me know. All right, again, he's level 53, and he saved not one, but two six-star crystals worth of uh, opening. It'd be easy for him to open them and maybe edit them together, but no. He saved over 20,000 six-star shards, and now he is going to basically have uh, the results right in front of him in real time. First six star, that'd be great. Oh, either way. I thought I was going to roll one, mo one more over and go spider ham, but Sorcerer Supreme saving the best luck for last. What a great pull that is, especially for a level 53 account. Okay, well, even if this is a Groot or an OG Daredevil or an OG Captain America or an OG Spidey or more OG champs I haven't named yet, this is still going to be a very solid pull. Uh, considering he got one of two... Solid six stars. But if he goes two for two. Sabretooth? Okay. Okay. That's a that's another solid champ. Some of you tell me that Sabretooth is like the top five, one of your favorite champs. I, of course, wouldn't go that far, but I'm not going to uh, judge you if that is how you feel about that. Really strong uh, ending, but I still, I would not have done that. I would not have done that. So, would you have uh, chosen those two five-star Nexus? I just, I wouldn't have done it, but that doesn't mean that I'm right and he's wrong. Again, I'm just telling you what I would have done. That doesn't mean anything. It's just one guy's opinion. But I'd love to hear your reaction and what you would have done in the comments below. That's why we do these commentaries after all to get the community involved. Have a great rest of your day, YouTube. And thanks again to this summoner, Mr. KK007, for the crystal opening commentary submission. Also, thanks for the patience and the hoarding. Very impressive.